Yo, 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 so I heard you had a question. How do I transpose a patch? I asked this many times when I was new to main stage and there's a few ways, but I'm gonna show you the easiest, best way and it's so fast and no stress, all right? Now, we're gonna to head to the MIDI effects region in the channel strip and we're gonna choose transposer, all right? So I'm gonna to go to the hollow sound in the echo patch. We're gonna be using the echo patch today. And there's a MIDI effects region. Go all the way down to transposer. And that'll open this window and you can see this slider. Now, you can transpose down or up and you can do any key you want. Now, echo is in D originally. So let's just say our singer um, can't hit the range that Torrin is singing in. He's got a pretty high range, so we want to take it down to C. Well, C is two semitones down, so we're going to drag. Sorry, we're going to drag the slider negative two semis. Boom, just like that. Okay. Now I'll show you in the original. Let me take it back up. So that's, that's in D, that's the original. Now we want to take it as C, so we dra drag it down to semitones. Can't say the word drag. All right, now when we drag it down, I'm not changing the way I play, so I'm still playing in the D shape, but the notes will change um, for me. So I don't have to learn how to play it in C on the keyboard. I'm just gonna keep the D progression in my hand, but the output will change. So that saves you less time of having to learn the patch in each key that you want. All right, so that, that's a blessing. So what you're gonna do um, is, I'll, I'll show you, what I'm gonna do is show you now how it sounds. So that's in C. But like I said, you can go to any key you want. So I can drag it down five semis if I want really far, okay? But let's take it up two semitones, which is one tone, and that will equal the key of E, all right? So. And all you have to do now is just go to each instrument track and transpose each one. So once I, you know, choose the key, I'll just do what I did with that hollow sound and then I'll move to the ambient sound. I'll go to the MIDI effects region. Just close that. To the transposer. And if I want it in E, I'll drag that up as well. <laughs> okay, but yeah, make sure um, you do it for each sound. Okay, don't forget one because that'll that'll be a bit scary. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. It's so easy, real quick, and it saves you hassle from how how to play um in each different key. <laughs> I can't even talk today. How to play in each different key. <clears throat> so there you go. Um, enjoy it and have fun.